going to go ahead and open up all the miniatures for Super Dungeon Explorer now. Take a look at them. We'll just take a quick look at a couple of the bases here. They all look like they have the same design on them. Get kind of a cobblestone slot base. Bunch of little bags of fellas here. So it's divided up into six different bags. Looks like you're probably looking at the red as all your monsters and spawning points. And then the tan ones look like their treasure chest and their characters. So we'll open up and take a look at the characters. Real quick. Lots of little pieces. I've got a Plano box here to help keep them sorted so I don't lose track of anything. But. Just a treasure chest. Looks like you have one of the characters, and he looks like he has two pieces that go into him. Have a dwarf. female character here. It's like the head for someone. Looking to see where the body is. I don't know if maybe that goes with it or it chips down. Nope, this goes with it. that little character. This little character. Like they'll definitely require some pinning. Headpiece to one of them. We got some different little staffs. This is like a the back of the head for one. which one it is but so I'm gonna have a ponytail maybe some little hair piece it looks like keep from losing it some shields looks like a little bit of a cloak This is the base for one of them. This is another base. They're all keyed, so have a battle axe, another axe, a 
sword and a bow. And have another box for the character stuff. And this one looks like it has the bear that the druid can change into. And it looks to be assembled, although it looks like it could have been in parts at one time. No, it's not fully assembled, it's just slotted together. be the druid. Looks like he's a two-piece model. You got a bear cloak there. And you have some more treasure chests. Those are all pretty standard. I'll come on the back end of this and have them assembled so you can see what they look like put together. So I've got the miniatures assembled and put together for a Super Dungeon Explorer. They're all cleaned up and ready to go. We'll be taking a look at the characters here. The first one we'll take a look at is the Ember Mage. You can kind of see. This was kind of bent and it was a little difficult to get that to stay. We just had to hold it a little longer. But everything kind of slots into its little point with a whole lot of ease. Not really difficult to put together. You'll notice that the eyes are just a big hole there. They're not really detailed. So you'd have to paint in the look of an eyeball in there. We'll take a look at the Glimmer Dusk Ranger. Let's see. Again, everything kind of fit in its key little hole. Look at the Tiefling Rogue. Or the Riftling Rogue. I'm bad using D&D words there. Also transform into a bear. Look, he's got a band-aid on his pelt there. That's the deep root druid, and he can transform into the angry bear, which is this thing right here. These models don't have an extreme amount of detail on them, but they have a lot of character. And the, I imagine the paint job's really gonna bring out the, the detail's really gonna be brought out through the paint jobs on them. And this is the Hearth Sworn Fighter, he's a dwarf. What I mean by there's not a whole lot of details like on the axe, you don't see any grain marks, there's no engravings on it. That kind of thing, just simple stuff you see in a lot of other miniature ranges, but it, it doesn't make the models any less uh, nice. They still have a lot of character and uh, look to them. We have the Hex Cast Sorceress. She was probably the one that had the most pieces. I think the ponytail was a piece, the bangs were a piece, the staff was a piece, her head was a separate piece, her little cloak here was a separate piece. And the 
last one is the Claw Tribe Barbarian. And she was just three pieces, I think, the head, the axe, and the... Almost looks like she's barely holding on to the axe there. But that's all the character models for Super Dungeon Explorer.